Look at this fancy space that we have today. So fancy that there's a picture of me in the background. <laughs> oh, I'm flattered, thank you. Michael is not here today, so I'm using his office. And yes, he has a picture of me in my favorite place in the world, Napa. You hate us, I know. And honestly, I would hate us too. You're in for a treat because I am just anxious AF this weekend, to be honest. Just putting a little bit of Ule Henriksen Banana Bright eye cream around my eyes. We're gonna be testing out some new makeup. I have an addiction, I have a problem. I cannot stop going to Ulta. I need to stop buying things because I have so much makeup that is not used and not touched. I love shopping. I'm addicted to shopping. Hey, hi. True life, I'm addicted to shopping. I just am a creature of habit and I use the same damn thing. So why do I need so many products? So I want to just kind of curate some products, see what I like. If I really don't like it, I'm not gonna use it. I just wanna get rid of it. The clutter, I just can't handle it. I feel crazy this weekend. So like I said, buckle up, buttercup. Today we're drinking water. Too much caffeine has been sending me. Cola Celsius sending me. I need to be in a state of, just like naturalness. My nails, terrible, please ignore them. I was gonna paint them before this video, but I had a day today. I literally did skincare for like two hours and yeah, I just, I had a moment, I needed a moment. I don't wanna talk about things that we've talked about 30,000 times. So I'm just going to apply my foundation, which I'm gonna use Charlotte's Beautiful Skin. I'm in the shade for neutral. I'm gonna throw this on. I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on. I'm just gonna throw it on and then we'll move on to the new things. Is the lighting okay in here? I really hope it is. I'm sitting by the window. I figured like natural lighting is probably better when we're testing new things. I don't know. I feel like fluorescent lighting, my beauty lights. I really keep toying with the idea of getting rid of them. It gets so dark so early here in the winter that if I have an extra hour where one night when Mike and I aren't doing anything and I just want to record a video, like I have the lights to help me, but I kind of want to rearrange my office, which I feel like is a big reason as to why I'm in here today. Cause I just, I'm sick of it. I want to redo it, but it just the way that I want to redo it it's not working. I need to kind of keep the room as is. I am babbling, I am rambling. Let's talk about something else. I wanna have a moment of makeup, not a moment of panic. <laughs> Which I feel like recently, are there any moments where I'm, I don't feel like I'm panicking? Hmm. No, there's not. Dior, this is not new, like I said. Backstage concealer, it's gonna. Casey Musgraves. Who is a Casey Musgraves fan? Her new song, Deeper Well. I cried the first time that I heard it. I cried the second time that I heard it. I probably have listened to it. I'm one of those people where if I love a song, I listen to it on repeat over and over again. I've probably listened to it like 30 times. And I think each and every time I've listened to it, I've gone a little emotional. I don't know. It really strikes a nerve with me. I feel like she's talking to me. Her voice is just so pretty. And I love that she's girly, but also kind of rock and roll. And I feel like that is kind of who I am at my core. I know that sounds so weird, but like, like this year I'm trying to think of like my style because last year you guys know, I kind of went through my closet. I got rid of things. I bought a lot of new clothes because I had just been holding on to clothes forever. I'm like that kind of person where I always feel guilty getting rid of things. So then I have the same wardrobe for 10 years. I didn't feel like it was expressing me as a human. So I bought a lot of new clothes. All that to say, I enjoy Casey Musgraves. I like her music. I think she's like, rock and roll, but like feminine at the same time, which is just, I think something that I'm aspiring more to be. But anyway, I love her new song. I cannot wait. I cannot wait for her new album to come out. I wanted to try this because I bought this and I really don't like it. Charlotte Tilbury is Hollywood Flawless Filter. I wanted to put it on underneath. I guess like, let's just do this. I just put a little bit on my cheeks there. Everyone like raves about this, but I just don't really feel like it does much for the price point. I've decided this year in order to remain, I feel like I've always been consistent on YouTube, but in order to remain more consistent and just like happy to do it instead of feeling like it's a chore, because I really do enjoy making content. There is a fine line between like putting too much pressure on myself, which I've talked to you guys about. I just wanna make sure that I'm just enjoying it and I wanna keep enjoying it. So it is what it is. I'm not scrapping any of this video. I'm just, I, I just wanna be real with me, 
with you. I want to accept who I am and I don't want to feel like I always have to be perfect. I don't know if any of this is making sense to you and I do apologize if I sound like a lunatic, but I've been having a hard time and I feel like we all go through hard times and then we feel guilty about going through those hard times because we feel like we should always be doing the most. At least this is me and my brain. I'm using the NARS Laguna bronzer. Before I continue on this little rant, I tried this the other day with this brush. I've been using this. I really do like this, but I used it with a denser brush. It just did not lay down as well. So I love it with a fluffier brush. I'll show you the two of them side by side to compare. Just like a fluffier brush. This is the It Cosmetics Unstoppable Powder. And yes, I'm using a cream with it. It's actually funny because yesterday I went to my mom's. My mom showed me this brow thing that she bought. It's not really for your brows though. It's for your hairline. Clairol, I'll put a picture of it here. And when I saw my mom, I was like, mom, what did you do to your brows? They're so dark, I love them. I love a dark brow. I love a dark bushy brow and my mom's brows looked so good. So she's like, oh, I just threw this eyebrow thing that I have. And I'm like, well, what's the eyebrow thing? It comes with like a long, what looks like an eyeshadow and a little brush and you just brush it into your hairline to cover up grays and to just fix any I would think like receding or bald spots that how that's how I'm gonna use it you bet your ass after I tried it um I bought it because I have a shopping problem my sister was like mom you're not even supposed to use this on your brows it's for your hairline and I was like no 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 rule number one we can use products however we see fit. And it's just, I feel like I was reminded of that today. With makeup products, I always say, if it's for your cheeks, you can use it anywhere. You can use it on your eyes, your lips. You can use a powder brush with cream product. It doesn't need to be powder. There's no rules in makeup. And honestly, I think a lot of it has to do with marketing, selling, sales. You know, if a company can send you, can send you, can sell you like three different brushes, they're gonna sell it because they're selling more products. But you really don't need that many products coming from the shopaholic that I am that is talking about new products. I've been watching like the usual YouTube channels that I watch. I watch a lot of Tati Westbrook, Lana Davison. I love Victoria McGrath from In The Fro. And Victoria always shows Dyson things. And she was showing the new Dyson straightener that came out. And I have on my notes in my phone. It's so annoying. I know I'm so annoying, but I have a note section of like gifts for me. When like my birthday comes and people ask, like I write down things that I would like as gifts so that when people ask me, <laughs> I can get what I want and I have an answer. So I wrote down like the Dyson straightener, but like I had the Dyson air wrap and it has like 10 different attachments. And I did my hair today with it. And I'm like, no, I don't need another product. Just like I don't need another nude lipstick. I need to just use the shit that I have and stop being so lazy. I love this blush shade. I, I wear it often enough, but honestly I have so many blushes that I could go a long time without wearing it because I just own so many cream blushes. My favorite blushes are Merit. Second favorite are Tower 28. I really love the MAC Glow Play. Guys, I'm really into MAC at the moment. I'm so glad that MAC is in Ulta now. I was over there like looking at all the lipsticks and was just like, remember when we were all MAC girlies and all this other shit didn't exist? I just feel like I'm on speed, but I'm also exhausted. Anybody else? And I'm also like TMI, but like my cycle, I'm ovulating. Like today is my ovulation day. Thank God Mike's not here. <laughs> I feel crazy. Let's talk about it. And you know, I shouldn't even say TMI. I'm gonna tell you right now. I feel like I have always been very girl power. And I feel as I've gotten older, I'm just more into the women rock and the rest aren't as great. No offense. <laughs> but I read Britney Spears' book. Oh my God, Britney Spears. It was such a good book. I read it in like three weeks and I'm having trouble reading this new book that I'm reading. The Britney Spears book was just so good. I've always been a Britney fan. I should really put a lip gloss on. I've tried this before. Again, I have too many lip products. God knows I didn't need this, but this is Lana Lips, the ointment 101. My lips are terrible. I just keep eating them. And at night I've gotten so bad that I'm just like, whoa, did you hear that like pop? I'm just resorting to Vaseline and in my mind, when I saw this, I was like, 
This is gonna be better than Vaseline. And I'm gonna let you know, so stay tuned. But we're just gonna put it on now to help hydrate the lips. And of course, I'm running out of memory on this card. Oh my God, Britney Spears. Um, her book was so good. And I feel like it's just reinvigorated my love for Britney and I can't get enough Britney. Listening to all the music, listening to songs I've never even heard. Like I just, I love Britney. Her book is so good. You have to read it. And I'm using another product that you've seen a bajillion times. Please ignore me. This is the Givenchy Prison Libre Powder. We're just gonna go with the get ready with me vibe. Like clearly that's what I'm doing a good job at is the talking, not the makeup applying. Jesus take the wheel is really where I'm at. Just Jesus take the wheel. Whatever comes out of my mouth, I'm accepting it. I'm just, we're rolling with it. I just don't care. I just feel very emotional and I'm having a lot of like, moments of like highs and then like a lot more lows and i'm like really missing my dad which i'm always really missing my dad it's just like extra this weekend and i think because mike's not around I'm not here to distract me can't like just pour my love into him instead i'm pouring love into myself and i'm getting emotional about it also though i haven't been journaling i've been going to physical therapy and i just feel like it's deterring me from doing all of my other morning routines because i have to do physical therapy in the morning and it takes like 15 minutes my exercises trying to fit that in with the working out and the journaling and the reading especially on the days that i go to work physically it's just i'm not exercising in the morning i'm not reading i'm not journaling i'm literally sleeping as late as i can rolling out of bed doing my physical therapy exercises and then like getting ready for work and i need to get back into my routine honestly i don't know i feel like the journaling became a lot and now i feel like the not journaling is a different kind of a lot it's just it's a lot going on this is a newer product i got this in december i I used this when Mike and I went to California every day we were there and then I kind of stopped using it I don't know I just I feel like this is a lot for me to grab on an everyday basis I don't know if that makes sense I'm gonna pick up this bronzer shade but what was I saying I honestly don't even know what I was saying I'm just trying to like discover myself this year and I know that sounds like very dramatic and I don't know how else to say it but I feel like last year I was like sad and this year I am sad, but I wanna like heal through that sadness. In doing that, it's bringing up a lot of emotions. And I also kind of wanna like shift the narrative of my life. Like, does any of this make sense? I don't know. I wanna not feel like the shell of a person that I've been feeling for the last couple years. I wanna evolve and change and mix it up. Also deal with things that I haven't dealt with either. I'm gonna take this blush. When I first tried this, like it goes on a little patchy. It's patchy, can you see? It just looks patchy to me. But then it like marinates into the skin and then it looks so natural and it lasts a really long time. But when I first put it on, I don't really, I don't love the blush, but I'm gonna marinate it with some setting spray soften the edges with whatever's left over on my powder puff i forgot how much i hate this tube oh i bought this this is new right out of the packaging elf wow brow tinted gel y'all know i love a brow gel and i don't stray away from drugstore brow gels at all volumizing a tiny microfiber infused tinted brow gel creates a natural looking fullness Fullness. I can't talk, we know this. Apply gel in outward strokes with applicator to tame and build for th thicker looking brows. Listen to me. A lot of y'all have a lot to say about my brows. People in my real life have a lot to say about my brows. We all have brow preferences. I like how tiny this applicator is. I, it's really not about the makeup today. It's about my story time, clearly. The exact same color as my brows. Neutral brown, makes sense. I usually try to go a little bit lighter than my brow hairs, but wow, that looks really nice. Wow, oh, guys, it's funny because even my husband pointed it out, but Mike was like, you're like really obsessed with e.l.f. lately. I'm like in my e.l.f. era. I can't get enough of e.l.f. products. I really like this. This looks so natural. And honestly, I love my Merit brow gel, but I'm tired of spending $24 on it. I kind of want to fill them in a little bit. I repurchased this. This is the Joa brow brow down to me precision brow pencil i bought this a while ago i think i bought this for my wedding and then i ended up not using it i think i ended up using my anastasia beverly hills brow whiz which makes sense i did like this but i like the brow whiz better i saw this at the drugstore and was like mm, mm, 
gonna try this again. I was at Ulta again, cause I just, I can't stop shopping. And I was looking at their new, who was it? Benefit came out with like an ultra fine brow pencil. I really feel like it's the same exact size as this. And this is half of the price. I feel like we're going for bold brows because let's be real, when are we not doing that? And everyone can get over it. This is really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just love how small it is. I love a good 50s LA piece. You do? What's your favorite 50s LA piece? Your favorite LA piece. Thank you. How's your day going? Terrible value, boo. Sorry, this is a terrible video, but like, bless you for staying with me. This is new, I've never tried this. The e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Stick in Perfect Pearl. I would do this. Yep, that is what I would do. I feel like I would just use this as like a, sh a highlight stick. Yeah, that's really pretty. <laughs> okay. I would just line underneath my brows just like that and then blend it for a nice little lift. I don't know if you could see, I have like a shadow right here and it tends to like pull my whole brow down. But if I lighten it up, it won't be so bad. Oh, this is cute for like spot lighting. Spot lighting on the inner corner of my eye as well. <gasps> That's pretty. I don't have a new lip liner, so I'm just gonna use this Bobbi Brown one. I wanna get rid of it. Like I just, it needs to be done now. It's really good. I'm just trying to make space in my collection. So I'm gonna dedicate the time to use this kind of like a project pan thing. Oh my God, but like, honestly, when I go through a couple, remind me to buy this. Color is like perfect. And see, this is what happens. I have things like this that I absolutely love, right? And then I go to Walgreens or Target or wherever the hell I'm going, Ulta. And I just buy new things and then I forget about the great things. And I'm living, I just want to, I so badly, I so badly want to be a minimalist. It's just not in my nature though. I just, ever since I was little, I've loved to shop. I have a lot of lipsticks here that are new. I don't know which one I wanna use. I really like this packaging. It's Tom Ford 2 Bougie, you know me. I love a bouge. I'm all for the bouge. I just don't know if I'm all for this color. That's like an orangey red. I really thought it was gonna be a darker lip than this. It just doesn't look like I wanna wear it today. But this is Tom Ford in Scarlet Rouge. What about Dirty Talk by Il Maquillage? I don't think I've ever tried one of their lipsticks. I owned a few of their liquid lipsticks like so many years ago. I feel like it was like 2017 I bought them because Andrea Ali, who I really haven't been watching her channel a lot lately, but she showed two shades and I loved them and I tried them and I'm not gonna lie, I was never really like a liquid lip kind of gal. I used them like maybe a handful of times and then I got rid of them, but this is Il Maquillage Dirty Talk, which makes me think of Elf. That's a pretty bullet, but let's ruin it. It kind of looks like Dirty Talk. I grabbed my Elf Dirty Talk. This is Elf. No, they're not the same. This is more mauve and this is more like beige. This is a great lipstick if you're looking for a drugstore. Oh my God, I just didn't whip it out because I've been wearing this like a lunatic. It's so good, but I have been trying to find more fun lipsticks to wear. I'm very much a nude girl. I kind of like go through lip phases and I talk about this often, but I always really loved a lip liner, a lipstick and a gloss. Then I became more into a natural lip. Now I'm kind of like getting back into lip liners and juicier lips. And at one point I literally purged my entire collection. I got rid of all of my fun colors. I just kept the nudes and like a couple reds for my husband because he loves a red. And sometimes I'm in the mood for a red, but more often than not, I'm absolutely not. Now I'm like missing the fun colors. So I actually bought some fun colors when I went to Ulta yesterday. This is a fun-ish color. This is Mocha by MAC, trial size, it's so cute. What kind of formula is this? Satin, I like a MAC satin. That's a pretty color. We should try Il Maquillage, just because I don't know why the color is like the most exciting. Let's go for what's different, I'm excited to see. Ooh, she's pigmented. Oh my, that's pretty. That's like a fun, <gasps> See, this is what I'm saying. I went to Ulta yesterday and then I went to Bloomingdale's because I wanted to go to the Clinique counter for whatever reason. I don't know, I'm not like 
a big Clinique fan, but I wanna be. So I was just intrigued. I went to the counter and I tried a bunch of fun lipsticks and none of them were flattering. But like this is like the borderline of fun that I think I'm talking about. Like a bright pink that kind of just like brightens my complexion. I feel like I put that on my whole face got brighter. This is a matte lip color. It feels powdery, but it kind of honestly gives me the vibe of the e.l.f. lipstick. So it's matte, but it feels comfortable. I'm going to wear it for the rest of the day. I will wear it a few times this week and I will report back because like I've said before, the e.l.f. one is just so good. I can wear it and wear it and wear it and it doesn't dry my lips out. I wanna see about this one, but that color, let me know what you think about the color down below. Um, Cause I think it's really fun. And I'm so excited that I just tried it. Let's hop back to my hourglass. Again, this is the packaging in case I didn't show you properly before. Cause I feel like in the beginning of this video, I had a lot of anxiety. And right now, honestly, after talking to my husband and FaceTiming with him, I feel a little bit better. Is that weird? Probably. I'm gonna take my More Mercier fan brush. Let's pick up the pink shade, this one. And these are not blinding highlights, which I love about them. I just like a softer like diffused light, kind of like a wet look. But can you see the difference between this and this? Still nice. I feel like because I had Jutsi skincare on, I also did add a bit of this. So maybe I don't hate that. Again, I don't think it's worth your money. I always do that though. And then I regret, <gasps> I do that every time. Why do I do that every time? And then I like forget that I do it. Foundation brush, I'll just do that and fix this. It's just makeup, we can fix it. Guys, I love this lipstick. I feel like I should just return all the things that I bought at Ulta yesterday and just stick with this. And right, I'm just gonna spray my face with some Morphe setting spray. I bought this a while ago. I did not open it, but I don't even care to open this, but I bought it and I can't return it because I bought it so long ago. So let's just open it. But this is the classic eye powder pencil by Charlotte Tilbury and Audrey. This is not new, but it's new to me. I'm gonna draw like the tiniest wing, a baby wing. I like it, I don't know, I just don't love it. I think you can get better for less. Honeybee Gardens is honestly my favorite eyeliner at the moment. Kinda don't want this wing, so I'm gonna fix the end of it. That's so much better. I kinda just want like a wisp of a wing, like a shadow wing. Okay, I'm being a weirdo, as I don't feel like I need to tell you I've been a weirdo this entire time, but I kinda just took the wing off like this with my seamless foundation brush. Foundation brush you can use to take the wings off. And I kind of just like smudged the liner out on top of my eye. Can you see how it kind of just gives like a smoky effect? And then I went in here and I just lightly filled in my waterline and now I'm smudging it out. And that's kind of the vibe that I'm going for. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm very rock and roll. I'm gonna wiggle it between the lashes and be a little bit more precise. In the inner corner. Just take my finger, this is what I did. Brunch makeup is apparently in all over eyeshadow brush and just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not do that. <laughs> I'm pinching it and blending it. I just feel a bit defeated just in general today. And like, does this eye even go with this lip? It doesn't. I hate this. We need a prayer and we need a moment. We need a prayer and we need a moment. Part of me just like wants to curl my lashes and call it a day. So let's start there and let's see where it goes. I do have, shockingly, a new mascara. It's not really new. I have tried it before, but I've never tried the primer. The Sky High, y'all know, my favorite drugstore mascara by Maybelline. This is the mascara, this is the primer. I've never used the primer. Same wand, which I like this wand. I don't know, I like a little spiky guy. Let's prime the lashes. Wait a minute, I'm confused. Tinted primer, serum infused base. Okay, so I am using it right. I'm supposed to use the white one first, but the white one is black and thick. Okay, okay. Does this come with directions? I'm a little confused. I mean, honestly, I feel like, am I using this right? I'm using the primer and then I'm gonna use the mascara, but I feel like the primer was like thick and it like feels like mascara and it looks like mascara. Oh God, this is kind of chunky for me. I just like want this to be wispier than it is. I don't know, what do you guys think? Like it definitely gave me a lot. I just, I kind of want to just put the lash serum on this eye and show you that I think that that would be good enough for me. I think both is, for me and my preference too much, I like a wispier kind of lash. I hate this. 
Can you, can you see? I just feel like it's so chunky in here. Can you see? It's like chunky in the root. It's not terrible. I'm taking a spoolie to just like lighten it. This is only the primer. I didn't even put the mascara on this side. What happened? I don't like the primer. It's just like really thick. Where did it just go? Am I losing my mind? Yeah, I don't like this. It's like, I don't know if I can show you what's happening. They're just two thick mascaras that the primer I feel like should be thinner. I feel like the primer shouldn't be the same consistency as the mascara. So I don't like the primer. I just kind of want to use the regular mascara on the lower lashes and see where that takes me. Yeah, I like that. The primer just didn't take me to a good place. It makes me think of the Madonna song, like a prayer. She just wants to take me there. I don't want to go anywhere with this lash primer. I am losing my mind and I'm losing my patience with this makeup. So <laughs> we're gonna do a couple things very quickly. Take the bronzer shade from here on a fluffy brush. I would take something that's a little bit more matte, but I don't have it in front of me and I've never done this, so let's do it together. But I kind of want to create a little bit more dimension around the eye. Yeah. That's exactly what I need. I don't know if you can tell the difference on camera. The eyeliner just felt a little out of place. So I feel like sometimes when things in your makeup routine feel out of place and you're not wearing eyeshadow, or even if you are wearing eyeshadow, sometimes you just need to put a little something into the crease to bring more dimension into your entire face. But that's something that I have noticed a lot of times when getting ready. And I like the lash serum by itself. I don't like this side. I don't know why, it just looks chunky. And for lips, why don't we go for the mocha shade? Yeah, that's like a, kind of makes me think of the other lipstick, but like more muted. Honestly think I like the formula of the Il Maquillage one better though. This is a really pretty color, but I think I like the other formula better. This feels kind of like waxy. I kind of want to gloss, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take a little bit of this. This is Fenty and Fussy, and I don't like to ruin the applicator. So I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand, just a bit. Look at that color. It's so good. Bounce it in the middle, just to give a pout and a little bit of light. You see that? Mm, yeah. I don't need anything. I have so much makeup. I don't need anything, guys. Tell me to stop buying things. I feel better with how this turned out. I forgot I bought this. This is the got to be two in one gel for brows and edges. I haven't tried it in my brows. Um, we can do that at a later date, but honestly I bought this for a little flyaways. Can you see them? Maybe I should turn the light off. Can you see them now? You could see them. They look crazy. I forgot who told me to do this. I think it was Andrea Ali a really long time ago. I bought this quite a few months ago. I just never opened it because I have a shopping problem. It's like a mascara wand. I feel like too big for my brows and I got big brows. So I don't know whose brows they'd be good for, but I got it to like fix this. So I'm just gonna, do you see what this is doing? Oh my God. Oh, look at that. Let's do this side now. Cause these look very aggressive, these little ones. Oh my God, guys. <laughs> This video just turned around, I feel like. Do we not agree? Wow. That's good. That's real good. Do you see all my flyaways? Wow, 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 wow. We ended that on a high note. I do apologize for the craziness of this video. The old me would scrap it and not even upload it. But like I said, in 2024, I'm just caring a bit less. I like the makeup products that I tried today. I love the Il Maquillage lipstick, love the mocha lipstick. I like the mocha color better. I just feel more comfortable on this, but I do feel like Il Maquillage brightened my face more, if that makes sense. But I like the Il Maquillage formula better, which is shocking. I could live without this eyeliner, like I said. I just, I don't love Charlotte Tilbury's liner, much like I don't really like her flawless filter. I like the e.l.f. highlight stick, but I think I would just stick to using it on the Cupid's bow and underneath the, see that little pop right there? Underneath the brows, just because it looks pretty here. And I feel like it'll look better with time, but when I first applied it, it is looking a little better. It does pick up the texture a little bit. So if you are a textured batch like me, this might pick up the texture if you're gonna use it on your face. So you've been forewarned, but I'm definitely gonna continue to use this. And again, you know how I feel about these. I just feel like one is enough. I feel like two is overkill and makes the lashes like kind of like crumbly and heavy. Like look at how much more just the primer did. 
for my lashes than the both of them together. I feel like the both of them together, it's too heavy of a formula and it weighs the lashes down and it kind of like clumped them together. Elf Wow Brow. Guys, I am wowed by this. I love it. And yeah, I feel like I found a lot of really good products in this video. A lot of them drugstore, which is so exciting. So I do hope that you enjoyed this video again. I apologize, it was a little bit over. I do apologize, it was a little bit all over the place. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you enjoyed this, which I don't, I don't know who would enjoy this psychoticness of me that I am, but do be sure to leave it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you have not done so yet. I love you guys so much and I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.